Welcome to the program. Today we are coming to you from Kobo in Meru County. We are featuring Yetu Sako, a Sako that was founded in 1991 with 200 members and that membership has grown to over 56,000. Ushirika with Alex Chamwada. With the help of Yetu Sako, I'm so grateful that I, I own a home, I own an apartment. After finishing even the education of my children, I was able to assist the other children around. Yetu is a Swahili word meaning ours. And symbolically, members of Yetu Sako feel the Sako is in their hands and has grown to become a key source of their livelihoods. Mr. and Mrs. Ayub Muzuri are retired teachers who are enjoying a stable retirement thanks to support from Yetu Sako. They own a dairy unit built from Sako loans. If the Muthuris are not tendering to the cows, they will be in their tea farm. When I got loan from Yeto Sako, that's about 1.4 million, and it was purposely from the construction building. But uh, the other loan which I got was to assist me to even to educate other children. The Muthuris are among the 56,000 members of Yeto Sako who have made it what it is. The money I get from all my tea which I have planted, it is channeled to here to Sako, where we have a site. We get money there, we buy fertilizer, we pay these people. Here to Sako was started by tea farmers 30 years ago with the sole aim of uplifting their socio-economic welfare through savings and affordable credit provision. Yes, Sako was uh, registered on uh, 23rd of September 1991 under the name of the Tea Growers. Back then, in 1991, it was started by 200 members who contributed each 1,000 Kenya shillings, making the sin capital of 200,000. Due to the great impact of the growing institution, the SACO started front office services activity on 2nd February 1996, which led to all banking services opening up for the SACO business. In the year 2010, it rebranded after feeling that it has uh, almost exhausted in the tea sector and opened what we call a common board. After opening the common board, we rebranded and adapted the name Yetu Sako, which means ours, all we belong. The opening of the bond paved way for admission of members from all walks of life, including the business community, farmers, corporates, as well as county and national government employees. The society opened the physical boundaries of Imenti South also to accommodate all members of the public. Now we are proudly ready to celebrate that years of work and uh, performance and uh, the success has been very high. You come to South Imenti or to other people have taken our products. They have very beautiful houses, they have great cows, they have educated children, also, we might manage to supply water to their homes. They came for money here, and that money is going to supply water in their homes. Also, electricity. The SACO's asset base has grown from 200,000 Kenya shillings to 4.3 billion shillings. In terms of loaning, well, that capital seed of 200,000 is what was being loaned. But today, the book has grown to Kenya shillings, 3.3 .3 billion loan book that we have. In terms of turnover and income that we boast each every year, for the last five years, we are boasting to the tune of above Kenya shillings 600 million every year. 
The SACO's mission is to grow and empower its membership by adopting innovative market-driven services, and its vision is to be an inclusive financial institution offering high-quality service. Our motto is, your success is our pride. Many people who have come for loans here with us, when we give them, we tell them to be successful, to do projects which will succeed, so that when they succeed, also the society succeeds. I joined Yetusako in year 2003. I took a loan of 100,000, whereby I utilized it in my business, and I, it was my, in my starting capital. And I went where, to an extent, I bought the first vehicle with a loan of 1 million. And then it came to year 2014, when I built my own apartment. I was supported 50% with the Yetusako. They gave me a loan of 5 million. Year 2017, I took a loan of six million. I opened a supermarket. Because of the profit I was earning, I opened a cosmetic shop. We are in Yet Circle and a corporate membership of uh, Sarovima Seven Stars Resort Lodge. We came here like four years back. We bought the land with our own money, but uh, later the Yet Circle came and chipped in. Uh, they helped us to establish the premises. They funded us with uh, 27 million to put up the building. Yetu Sako has five branches that is Nkubu, Kinoro, Kionyo, Nairobi, and Meru. At inception in 1991, Yetu Sako was housed in two small rooms at the former DO's office where it shared the rooms with T extension officers. In 1996, it rented an office belonging to Nkwene Cooperative Society, which enabled it to kick off FOSA operations. Later in the year 2000, it purchased the building which currently houses Nkopo Branch and the SACO's head office. The SACO has 66 diaspora members. We have several members in the US, several members in UK and other parts of the world who are part and parcel of this membership, who limit their cash through cooperative bank and they come here to support us in terms of shares, in terms of share capital, and we have also on land to them and done many projects around here for them. Yetu Sako entered into partnership with Cooperative Bank in 1996. The Sako has since then become a shareholder with shares worth 12.4 million shillings and uses Cooperative Bank as its main banker. With the Cooperative Bank of Van, you know we are, we are cooperators. And that is our umbrella kind of an institution. Any time when we have a problem, they assist us, especially in education. When we, are, we lack the money to give loans to our members, they came in for assistance. We now have what we call Visa branded ATM cards, where our members are able to shop from any channel to get cash from many automated teller machines across the country and the branches of cooperative. We also have what we call check scanning. In the initial stages when we started the partnership, we used to carry the physical check to the bank, the bank, and then wait for it to mature. Now we do that through a scanner from the comfort of where we sit. We've also partnered with them in online services whereby we have uh, mobile banking and also internet banking. They can be able to do transfers, they can be able to check balances, they can be able to view statements. In addition, uh, we have partnership uh, with Yetu Sako on COP consultancy to train and equip their staff with necessary resources so that they are able to deliver the best uh, service to the members. We've been able to support them through our COP consultancy subsidiary uh, to develop their strategic plans, uh, to implement the performance management systems, to develop policies and um, operating manuals for the Sako, as well as um, you know, being able to recruit for them a key uh, human resource at various levels. With the youth, I sincerely advise them to come and join the societies because the societies can guide them, invest with them, it can assist them to have incomes, to have finances, to grow themselves and then be businesses in this country because they have knowledge. Quite inspiring quite uplifting. We hope you've enjoyed the show and be sure to join us again next week for another inspiring episode of Ushirika. 
from Nkubu in Meru County. I'm Alex Chamada and many thanks for watching.